wanted people all my life to be able to know that what Todd Corbin says is what Todd Corbin means. And he will do, he'll move heaven and earth to fulfill those promises that I make to people. And so just all the combination of being able to help people see there is another way to invest your money beyond what all of the things we've learned all of these years and the seems to be that that's the only way to do things, that there's another way that is even more safe and more secure and give you a better return, but then also to be able to help distressed homeowners and to help people who can't get a mortgage. I just love that that's the way we approach this whole whole business, that in every single aspect, it's about helping people. If you're a real estate investor and are wondering how to raise and leverage private money to make more profit on every deal, then you're in the right place. On Raising Private Money, we'll speak with new and seasoned investors to dissect their deals and extract the best tips and strategies to help you get the money, because the money comes first. Now here's your host, Jay Connor. Welcome to another amazing episode of Raising Private Money. I'm Jay Connor, your host, also known as the Private Money Authority. Well, you're now listening to the show to where what we talk about is how to raise private money for your real estate deals without ever asking for money, right? The traditional way to raise private money is to go to the bank and get on your hands and knees and beg or the hard money lender. Well, in this world of private money, you don't have to ask. We actually talk about how you get the money chasing you. Well, I have an amazing guest here on the show with me today. He's a good friend. He's in our top level mastermind group of real estate investors that are all about raising private money. So his background story, is, to say the least, is very, very interesting. My guest actually became a pastor's kid all the way back to when he was only 15 years old. And ever since being a teenager, he was in and has been in the world of Christian ministry so many different ways. For example, he taught for nine years in three different Christian high schools. Uh, he's also served as a worship leader and a youth leader in churches. Something really big is he has led 30 different teams of people, of teenagers and adults, on mission trips all over the world. 10 years, he was a missionary and uh, uh, served in Budapest. And for the past 19 years, he's been a mentor and consultant to teenagers and young adult children of missionaries. So as time went on through his career and his wife's career, uh, retirement years started approaching and they quickly realized that, well, we really haven't saved up enough money to be financially free and take care of ourselves financially over the years. So they started thinking about, well, how can we continue to serve because serving other people is so important in their lives, how they can continue to serve people in some kind of way and also provide for their financial needs, you know, as retirement years come along. Well, the answer to that question, how can I serve in my retirement years and make still good money? Well, that's when he and I met. He and I met back in 2022. He had attended uh, one of our live events that we have here on private money. And he's convinced that uh, God was in the midst of this uh, quote unquote coincidence, which was not a coincidence. And my guest believes that the way we do real estate investing by using private money really, really was the answer to his and his wife's predicament. So what they love about the program and the way we do the business is it's all about teaching people uh, how they can lender and get high rates of return safely and securely. And it's also about serving people that may not be ready for a mortgage and how he can help those people out as well. So he and his wife, they have found uh, the way to continue to serve people and make really, really good money while doing it. My guest has got a servant's heart unlike anybody else I know. He's all about putting other people first. And in just a moment, you're going to meet my very, very special guest, Mr. Todd Corbin, right after this. Well, hello there, Todd, and welcome to the show. 
Hey, Jay. It's good to see you as always. Good to see you too. And you are now, you and your wife, Liana, you are fellow North Carolinians. Uh, not too long ago, you moved to Clayton, North Carolina area. Uh, you moved up here from Florida, right? Yes. We yeah. were in Orlando, Florida for 15 years. Right, right. Well, um, excited to have you as a fellow North Carolinian. And also, you are a very valuable uh, member of our mastermind group. In fact, in just a couple of weeks, we're getting together for our next mastermind get together. So a very interesting story that I just shared, of course, about you and, and uh, in the introduction. And what I've discovered is there's there's typically something that happens in, in someone's life that triggers them to take action and really explore other opportunities like you did. So, so you started thinking about real estate investing. Tell the story of how is it that we even came to meet and know each other and you learning about, you know, how we do private money and all that kind of good stuff. Yeah. So, um, uh, I, as you've mentioned earlier, I've been in ministry for um, basically all my adult life. And we got thinking about um, retirement and how we're going to take care of ourselves. And um, actually during, during COVID, um, I started doing a lot of talking and arguing with God and trying to figure out how life was going to work. Anyway, um, during that time, I, I used to go um, walking each morning while we were living in Orlando. And during that time, I would pray, sometimes argue with God. And um, this one particular morning after I'd finished praying, I thought, I'm going to listen to a podcast. And there is another um, a well-known guy who is in um, real estate. And I had taken his mastermind class. And he was going to be interviewing you, Jay. And um, so I thought, well, hey, you know, maybe this this will be interesting because um, this guy talks all about how to raise private money. And um, I hadn't heard a whole lot about that. I'd heard a little bit from the other guy, but not not so much. So I listened and I was quite intrigued by what you said. And then um, you also there was some way where we could um, write in and ask for your book. and We get a free book. So I thought, well, why not? You know, even though I'm not a reader. I, it takes me forever to finish a book. And there's many books I've started and never finished. I read your book in a day and a half. Um, and for me, that's good. Um, so uh, I read the book and then there was the opportunity to um, take your private money academy uh, thing, I, uh, class, I believe. So I ordered that. And when we did that, there was the opportunity to come to your live event. And so I have to say, maybe you didn't want me to say this, Jay, but when I was watching the, the private money academy things, um, all I could think was, I liked everything that this guy says, but I don't think I like him. I think he's um, arrogant. That was, that was what I thought. And, uh, but I thought I'm going to go to this event anyway. And I'm so glad that I did because seeing you in person and interacting with you, I realized this guy is the real deal. And, um, he isn't arrogant. He is all about helping people. And so I went to the event mostly thinking about how are we going to take care of ourselves um, uh, in our retirement years. And it just blew my mind learning how this whole program works with um, raising private money and using private money. And so for us, we thought, boy, we've had money in different investment things over the years. And it's been pathetic, the kind of return we've gotten. And I was listening to you and I'm thinking, why has no one ever told me about this before? And so talked with my wife and we both agreed, man, this is what we need to do. And so the original thing was just, we decided to become private lenders ourselves. And um, boy, it has, <laughs> I don't know if you want me to share all of the details and everything you can ask if you, if you want me to, but it has really blown our mind as far as um, what a safe and secure and high return we could get from being private lenders. And then to learn that we could actually help other people by teaching them about this program. It just was like, 
man, God brought everything together for us to be able to continue to serve people, but also take care of ourselves financially. I love it. Thank you for sharing that. So, I mean, I'm glad you brought that up, uh, Todd, because a lot of real estate investors uh, out there get a bad rap and some of them deserve it, deserve the bad rap. And that bad rap is, is they're out there to take advantage of people and, you know, steal properties and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, as you operate and the way that I operate, it's all about serving people. And how do we serve these people? Like, you know, uh, one thing that I know you're passionate about is we actually help people uh, not only buy the house and get them out of distress if they're in distress, but a lot of times we'll turn around and we'll be able to sell a home with uh, on a rent to own program and actually help them get in credit repair, help them actually get ready for a mortgage. And I have, I have witnessed over the years, anytime I got involved in a opportunity or financial opportunity, and the only reason that I was interested in doing it was to make the money. I failed miserably. I never mm -hmm. even got off the ground, but every time that I've been involved in something that I'm passionate about, and of course you got to have the business plan to go along with it for it to, you know, make the money. But as long as I'm able to actually take my mind off myself and focus on the other person that I'm serving, whether it's a, a new private lender that, you know, had never heard of private money and now they're going to, you know, invest in our deals or loan us money or whether it's I'm serving a buyer, then that works out just absolutely beautiful. Now your background, Todd, in ministry for all, all these years, I want you to talk about how someone goes from being a missionary and life in ministry to actually becoming the owner of your own business. And the reason that that um, question is important is we have a lot of listeners here to the show that have never been in business for themselves. They've never been an entrepreneur. They've received payment from other people. So how do you shift? How does the mindset shift? Whatever, what else shifts from becoming an employee mindset to being an entrepreneur mindset? Yeah, that's, uh, I, I think it is a, a perfect question for me because I think a lot of people who've known me all these years and um, have only known me in the ministry world, it does feel like quite a leap to now at this stage of my life to be a, a business owner. And um, so I, like, like I said earlier, um, it was very important to my wife, Liana and me, that when we get into our retirement years, we want to continue to be able to help people. I want to help people until I'm senile. Um, so I, all my, my years leading up to now, my, uh, my adult uh, life has been focused on teens and young adults. And I love that demographic, but I know physically I can't keep doing that the way I've been doing it all these years. And so it was very important that we find something that's going to allow us to continue to pour into people. And um, yes, there was there there was a shift in my mind, and I think in the minds of people who know, who've known me for a long time. And I think because this is this this real estate investment business is focused on helping people and. Our, the name of our company is Integrity Investment Solutions. And it was very important to me to have a name that would convey that this isn't about um, uh, cheating people or even it isn't about making making us a whole lot of money. The, the core part of our, our business is to be people of, of integrity, um, people who are authentic, and as we share this program with people to let them know you can trust us if we say this is the way it is it is the way it is because i feel like if i if i don't have integrity if i don't have my, if my word is not good then i've given people nothing i want people i've wanted people all my life to be able to know that what todd corbin says is what todd corbin means and he will do he'll move heaven and earth to 
fulfill those promises that I make to people. And so just all the combination of being able to help people see there is another way to invest your money beyond what all of the things we've learned all of these years and the seems to be that that's the only way to do things, that there's another way that is even more safe and more secure and give you a better return, but then also to be able to help distressed homeowners and to help people who can't get a mortgage. I just love that that's the way we approach this whole whole business, that in every single aspect, it's about helping people. And if we can do that, the rest of our lives, as long as we're mentally capable, then my life will be very full. It's been very full all of this time. I wouldn't change anything about the kind of life that I've had and the ministry that I've had. But now life is evolving. And I, as I'm getting older, I'm realizing everything can't look exactly the same. I want to spend my li- the rest of my life still continuing to pour into some of these people that God has brought my way over the years, these missionaries and missionary families. But now it's like my my scope of influence can can grow even much bigger because I can help other people who don't fall into that demographic but have just as many needs. And so if that's that's what took place in my mind. So it for me it wasn't a big leap. Yeah, I'm not a business person. I I I've had to really learn a lot here. It's been a, a steep learning curve for me. But I've got the best teachers in Jay and and his his crew. But the idea that I've had a life of focusing on helping the needs of people and doing what I'm doing now, it isn't a big leap because it's like continuing to do what I've been doing because people matter to me and and I know they matter to God. And so I want to be a vessel that can help anybody with any kind of needs that they have if I'm physically able. Right. And, you know, uh, doing real estate the way we do it and earning the kind of money that we're earning. I mean, my average profits right now is $78,000 per deal here in a small market in Eastern North Carolina. You talk about serving people. Think of all the other ways that you can help people even financially, right? Uh, When you are being blessed uh, financially. Mm -hmm. Uh, You mentioned that we met when you came to um, my live event on private money. I guess we should just go ahead and share that link so our listeners can uh, check it out. Uh, We put on the Private Money Academy uh, live conference in person three times a year. And the URL for that, the website that you can go check out this live event is www.jaysliveevent.com, J-A-Y-S. L I V E E V E N T.com Jay's live event.com. And you talked about reading my book. I guess we should give our, give my book away for free as well. Where to get the minute now. This is the book that Todd Corbin read that um, led him to us meeting each other. And this will explain step-by-step exactly how I raised over $2 million in less than 90 days when I was cut off from the banks. Uh, it's 20 bucks at Amazon, but on this link, you can get it for free. Just cover shipping. We actually priority mail this book to you and you can pick it up at www.jayconner.com forward slash book. That's jayconner.com forward slash book. We should probably share with our listeners, Todd, um, to make sure everyone understands When we're talking about private money and private lenders, we're talking about borrowing money from individuals, not institutions, not banks, not Mm -hmm. hard money lenders, but actually borrowing money from individuals that are loaning us money, either from their investment capital and or their retirement accounts. And so getting private money the way that you and I and our other mastermind members do it has got nothing to do with applications. There's no application to fill out. In fact, you're already approved. You're not applying for anything. And people don't understand that when they first hear it. So let's take a, let's take a second to explain how it works. So, you know, the traditional way to borrow uh, money for your real estate deals is you go either to the local bank or a hard money lender, you apply, you got to give your financials, proof of income, your credit score is pulled and all that. Well, in this world of private money, 
We're not asking for anything. We're not asking for a mortgage. What we do is we put on our teacher hat, right? So we put on our private money teacher hat and we start sharing with people and with people that we already have connections with, you know, we go to church with them. They're in our cell phone. They're on your email list. Uh, they're on your social media, you know, people that, you know, in your network. And by the way, if you don't have a large network at the live event, we actually teach you how to grow your network <laughs> very, very mm -hmm. quickly. Um, but we teach them uh, how they can earn high rates of return safely and securely. And we're not pitching any deals. We're just teaching them our private lending program, how they can be a private lender. And here's what's interesting. Uh, Carol Joy, my wife and I, we've got 47 private lenders that individuals that are loaning us money on our deals. You don't need 47 starting out. You just need to start out with a couple, just like I did back in 2009. And of course they start referring other people, but all 47 of these private lenders that we have, had never heard of private money. They'd never heard of private lending. They had never heard of self-directed IRAs. And that's a right or downer right there. You see over 47 of our private lenders are using their, um, over half of them are using their uh, retirement funds to invest in our deals, to loan us money on our deals. And so it's important to establish a relationship with a self-directed IRA company and representative that way when you're talking with someone that has retirement funds well you can introduce them to the connection you have at the self-directed ira company and they can assist them in moving their retirement funds uh, and the company that we recommend is questtrust.com they're out of houston texas they got amazing service i get my deals funded in three days and their website is www.questtrust q u e s t T R U S T dot com, questtrust.com. And as a matter of fact, um, at all of our live events, private money live events, we have Colin from Quest come and actually give a presentation on how you can use people's retirement funds um, for to invest, you know, to fund your deals. And they get returns that are either tax deferred or tax free. And it's just a, a win win for everybody. So anyway, I'm glad you brought up uh, the live event there, Todd. And, and, and the point I wanted to make is all 47 of my private lenders, none of them had ever heard of private money or private lending. Todd, mm -hmm. my guess is you might have a similar experience. Are your private lenders you have, was this idea of private money and private lending brand new to them? Or do you have a mix of people? No, everybody that I've talked to has, has never heard of anything like this. and and. I honestly, for a lot of people, it scares them because they haven't heard of it. But um, as they sit and listen, as I explain how the program works, I, I can see that the fear starts to subside. I just yesterday I was meeting with a with a dear lady. She's a dear friend of our family and talking it, talking the program through with her. And she had never heard of anything like this. And she's 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 interested. So, um, yeah, I think the vast majority don't know that this exists, but they should. And so that's why this program is great because it's all about teaching people. There is another way to invest that's very safe and very secure, and it will give you a high fixed rate of return. And when you say secure, that's another example as to how we protect our private lenders. And that is we don't borrow any unsecured funds. Um, all of our private lenders receive a mortgage or a deed of trust. Uh, it's real estate that is backing that note. Another way we protect our private lenders is we have a very, very conservative loan to value. So we're not over leveraging these properties. The, typically we're not going to borrow more than 75% of the after repaired value of a property. So there's a, a large equity cushion. Uh, we also name our private lenders on the insurance policy as the, the property and casualty insurance policy of the property uh, as the mortgagee. So if something happens to the property, the private lender is protected as well. We name the private lender on uh, the title policy as an additional insured. So we've got all these different layers of protection for the private lender. And for that reason, 
100% of our private lenders on all the deals that we've done, and we've done hundreds and hundreds of them, have received 100% of the money they were expecting on the promissory note ever since 2009. None of our private lenders have ever lost uh, money and they got every penny that was coming to them. And that's because of the way that the program that we've got it laid out. Now, Todd, of course, you and I know lots of ways that we're able to get the word out to people in our warm market um, without us having to chase, beg, sell, or persuade anybody. Well, one of those ways is a private lender luncheon, and you just had a private lender luncheon, uh, and it wasn't your first one, just a few days ago. So explain to our listeners, what is a private lender luncheon, and how does that work? Well, it's a, it's a time where we, we let people know ahead of time that on this particular date, we're going to do a luncheon. Mine was actually an evening thing. So it was a, it was a dessert social, but um, so we get the word out that this is coming and it's an opportunity for them to learn how this program works and get all of their questions asked, asked and answered. And so they come together. I had um, about 10 people at my um, event on Thursday evening. And I did a, a presentation about how the program works. Um, I like to, I'm a very visual person, so I like to um, put up some, some things on the screen to show. Um, here's, if you'd have taken $100,000 and invested it in conventional options um, in, on January 1st, 2022, and kept it in there all the way till December 31st, 2023, what would that money have earned you? And then on the other side, if you'd have taken 100,000 and invested that with our company, what that money would have earned you. And it's a huge difference. And it's, it's very visual to see, this is what happens to a lot of people when they invest conventionally. And this is what the people who invest with us get to receive. So it's, um, yeah, it's just a time for people to come and learn about it. There's no pressure. We're not trying to sell anything. We're just trying to teach them that there's another way out there. Well, Todd, we have two different groups of listeners here to the show. One group of our listeners are real estate investors that are either brand new and they're looking for ways to fund their deals by using private money. And the other group of listeners that we have are people that would be interested in being a private lender and would love to just be passively investing in real estate, be a private lender, and just sit back and, you know, collect their checks without having to negotiate deals and et cetera, like you do. First, let's start with our listeners that are interested in being a real estate investor, or they're perhaps already investing and looking for more private money. Todd, what advice would you give to that group of people as the best way for them to get started uh, and learning about private money and, and putting the program into action? Well, the number one thing I would say is come to Jay's live event, which is happening in just a couple of weeks, because it it is very eye opening. And it, the energy that is at this event is so incredible. Um, we have so much fun together. There's a lot of laughter, but there's excitement and I've just been very impressed. I've been to several of the events now. I've been very impressed with the caliber of people that it brings. They're not all so very flashy, but people of integrity and people that, that really want to make a difference. And so I would say that first. And then if you could take the next step and enroll in Jay's program, uh, how you can learn exactly how to do this. They are they are so good at how they've put this whole program together and they walk with us. They don't just send us all of the material and then expect us to figure it all out. And maybe we can call in once a month or something. They are walking with us week after week, day after day. They're always available and um, so patient with those of us who maybe don't learn it as quickly and myself included. Um, but uh, it's just been been so good as far as learning how the program works. And if it's about finding who you could get, uh, who you who you might might become one of your private lenders, you just start with people that you know, people that know you and trust you and you have a relationship with them. It's just 
it's it's so easy to just start there with the people that are around you that are your family and friends your warm market and just start telling them about this program and then it just kind of happens and then on the other group of people that we have uh, our listeners here todd people that would love to get high rates of return that's backed secure it's very very safe very very conservative those people that are listening let me tell you something, folks, if you're interested in being a passive real estate investor and just sit back and collect checks and have everything secure, I don't know anybody better to do business with than Todd Corbin. I know personally, he is a person of high integrity, just like he named his uh, company after, and he's going to treat your investment capital and or your retirement funds, just like it is his own money. And so Todd, for those that would be interested in having a conversation with you about potentially becoming a private lender with you and Liana and a way that they can make high rates of return totally passively, safely, and securely, uh, what's the best way for people to get in touch with you, Todd, uh, to have a conversation with you? Well, I'm happy to give out my phone number. First of all, it's 407-704-9061. We also have a website. It's integrityinvestsolutions.com. And we have a Facebook page, Integrity Investment Solutions. Um, yeah, there it is on the screen. Um, and we're also on Instagram. Um, feel free to in, engage with us on social media, but I'm also happy to take a call. I did have a guy who um, called me out of the blue. He had, I actually have a book too that I um, just recently came out called You Can Be the Bank that talks about this program. And a guy had purchased it on Amazon and he just called me out of the blue and said, I would like to ask you some questions about this. And we've developed a, a relationship through this. So I'm happy to talk with anybody who would like to know more about this. And I'd be thrilled to be able to help you get the kind of returns that the people who are investing with our companies have been doing. So one more time, Todd's personal cell phone. And he actually answers the phone when you call or text. <laughs> Todd Corbin's uh, cell phone number is 407-704-9061. Uh, Glad to talk to you about um, getting high rates of return safely and securely. His website is www.integrityinvestsolutions.com. Todd, thank you so much for taking the time to come on and join me here on the show. Thank you, Jay. I appreciate you so much. I have nothing but respect and love for you. Same back to you, Todd. And look forward to seeing you in person in just a couple of weeks at the upcoming live event. Thank you, Todd. Absolutely. Absolutely. You well, there you have it. Another amazing episode of Raising Private Money. And listen, I'm looking forward to seeing you at our upcoming live event or one of the subsequent live events that we'll be having. And we really appreciate the follows. If you happen to be listening to uh, one of the platforms, your iPhone podcast, app, Spotify, et cetera, any of the platforms, very, very um, special to us. We appreciate the, the likes and we appreciate the follows. So just follow so you don't miss out. If you happen to be watching on YouTube, be sure and subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming notifications. I'm Jay Connor, the Private Money Authority, wishing you all the best. And I look forward to seeing you right here on the next episode of Raising Private Money. Are you feeling inspired by the knowledge you gained in this episode? Then head over to jconner.com slash money guide. That's jconner.com slash money guide and download your free guide that shares seven reasons why private money will skyrocket your real estate investing business right now. Again, that's jconner.com slash money guide to get your free guide. We'll see you next time on Raising.